This is part of a narrative of a restructuring that's going on in Europe at the moment as the economies of Europe try to come to terms with the new world of economic growth at a lower level and a world where the ECB is working very hard to try and stimulate demand. Um, are we going to get a lot more of these announcements, do you think, as companies acknowledge that they have to restructure in face of the new lower growth trajectory that many of them are going to experience? I think we are. I think we're going to get a, a, a lot of efforts to try to restructure the economy because the growth prospects, at least in the medium term, are not great. The European economy has been picking up a little bit of steam, but the opportunities for stimulus from the ECB are limited. And we know that going into March of 2017, when the ECB has to renew its quantitative easing program, mm. that we're going to have to find some stimulus on the fiscal side if the economy is going to gain any traction. What about the, um, the stronger dollar story? We talked a little bit about this at the beginning of the program and what its impact may be. Initially, in terms of trade, a stronger dollar and a weaker euro ought to at least be a kicker for Germany and for export-driven European economies. Well, you would think it would be. I mean, the dollar has been strengthening pretty consistently. And if you look at the level of the dollar this year, the dollar has been very competitive for German firms. And yet the latest German export numbers aren't that strong. So it's not as though Germany is getting an automatic benefit from it. I mean, maybe we'll see some benefit looking into the future, but, but I'm still worried that's not going to materialize quickly.